on my laughing skills. Hey guys. I hope everybody's holding up good. It's popping. Um, so I am making dinner amidst all of the chaos as you can hear. Children are running around. Things are crazy. Not really anything I can do about it. Please stop running. Thank you. I wanted to quickly share with you guys, one, that it's 6.15, so I'm having a while making dinner, but I'm big on the 15, 20-minute dinners, and so I wanted to share one of my favorites with you guys. I've made this a million times on Instagram Live. I've made it a million times elsewhere. I, it's in my first cookbook, um, but I think it's a great easy recipe to have on hand for right now. I love it because literally um, it's three ingredients um, in the marinade, seasoning, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so I think you guys will really like that. So I have my oven on 425 degrees. I am using today some salmon. It doesn't matter if you have frozen salmon that you've thought out or fresh salmon, whatever, it does not matter. I have the salmon here on the pan. What I love about it is you can use any veggie that you have on hand. So today I have red onion, asparagus, and some zucchini squash. Um, you can use whatever you have. Sometimes it's corn and mushrooms for us. Other times it's bell peppers. Um, sometimes I use chicken. Today we have salmon. Okay, so you can use whatever protein you have. Today I have salmon, and so that's what we're using. Um, I'm going to make some broccoli and rice on the side, but the rice can be done in the rice cooker. It takes 15 minutes. Um, and the broccoli, I'm just going to quickly saute. So, why I love this so much, three ingredients. Brian Carson. Stop. Soy sauce. If you are gluten-free, use tamari. Totally fine. So, we have soy. We have garlic. I like using it in this paste form. And apricot preserves, peach preserves, whatever type of stone fruit preserve you have will work really, really well in this. So what you do is you just take about a quarter cup of those preserves, equal parts soy, let me show you. About a quarter cup of soy. Yeah. And then I'm gonna squeeze in so I have my preserves, my soy, and now I'm gonna squeeze in the garlic paste. If you're not using garlic paste, use about uh, two tablespoons of minced up garlic. So in it goes, just like so. I'm gonna stir this together. And that is literally the marinade. This is full of flavor. It's that sweet, salty, yummy combination that I know I love. Um, the kids love it, so this is great for getting everybody on board to eat. No. Ryan, what what is on your face? It's marker, Mommy. Why do you have marker on your face? I got it on Mom. I love you. Please go, go get a wipe and wipe your face. I can't. I can't. It looks like she has a mustache. It does. It looks like she has a certain type of mustache. All right, Rye. So next step, again, easy 15-minute meal. I'm going to salt and pepper. Here, let me just turn it around this way. I'm going to, Ryan is learning how to read and play the cymbals. Um, we are going to salt and pep our fish, just like so. Be generous. Little salt. And a little pepper, a little black pepper. All over like that. I put a little bit of olive oil on this before. Rye, say hi. hi. I put a little olive oil on this before, just so those veggies get nice and golden brown in the oven. I'm gonna take my sauce now. I'm gonna take my sauce. Woo! I'm gonna take my sauce. 
Wow, I just got salt in my eye. Crazy. All right. And just literally pour it. And obviously, all of this is not going to stay on the fish. It's going to seep down into those yummy veggies. Pop this into the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. And I promise you, it's going to be golden brown and delicious. So I guess I'll come back on or I'll do an Insta story to just show you guys the final product. But that's it. Dinner's on the table in 15 to 20 minutes. No stress. Again, use whatever fish you have on hand, um, whether it's frozen or you got it from the grocery. I know a lot of us probably have stuff in our freezer right now, so that's what we're using. Use whatever veggies you have on hand. Um, the combination are endless. Even if you have like frozen peas or frozen broccoli, frozen Brussels, those can go on there too and go in the oven at the same time. Um, it's really about just using what you have on hand. So I am going to pop this into the oven, cook my broccoli, have my rice ready to go, and then we'll be eating. All right, I'll be back guys. Look how pretty that is before it goes in. Yes, Lord. I'll be back. Love it.